Good afternoon, people. This is your Mr. Dark Zodiac. I'm coming online because I just saw one of the most disturbing Google Hangout sessions I could ever see on the fucking interwebs. I'm talking about the Brett Keane, fucking Von Helton, fucking Google Hangout meeting. It was posted on the 18th. That fucking uh, Sherry 226 in it had uh, Father Judgment. First thing I want to say is to fucking Von Helton, man. Where do you get off disrespecting women the way you do? Huh? I mean, the first thing out of your mouth to her is you called her a bitch. I mean, who the fuck do you think you are? Huh? I mean, I know your mama raised you with something man manners. Eh, I don't know about that. I fucking doubt it. You actually have no respect and no fucking manners. You claim to be the this big military hero? Bullshit. You don't even have the fucking respect. The fucking honor and the discipline, man. But yet you're supposed to be this fucking secret special op motherfucker, right? Right? And you know, you can't even give a woman the simple courtesy. Let me tell you something, Von Helton. You sit there and you talked about wanting to fucking beat a woman online. Huh? You sure the fuck did? I'm glad everybody's seen it because it exposes you for what you are. A piece of fucking shit. You ain't nothing but a scumbag motherfucker. Father Judgment came on. Good old Father Judgment, huh? Midnight Rider. You were quick to mute him, block him and shit, weren't you? Huh? Why do you talk all that fucking shit you were talking online when you uploaded videos? All the fucking shit you said about Father Judgment, about him beating his wife and his family. You know what? Father Judgment, yeah, yeah, that he's a real man. You know why I say? Because he looks like a real man. He acts like a man. And he looks out for his family. You don't. Instead, you're a liar. You're the fucking joker. You sit back, you talk a lot of fucking shit about everybody. You talk, you blame everybody for calling CPS, having your fucking kids taken. You sit back, you blame every and each individual troll. It was all of them that had my children taken. When you're the dumbass that held the paperwork up and read the shit off. The reason why your children were taken was because of doctor's orders. It was something in that report. It wasn't the fucking trolls. Anybody can call CPS on anybody, Von Hilton. It doesn't matter. You could call CPS on somebody a hundred times. It ain't gonna fucking matter. Unless they find something wrong. And obviously, you had issues, Bon. You had shit wrong in your house, bro. You sure did. I mean, they had to see some fucking reason for pulling those kids out of there. And it didn't have anything to do with the fucking trolls. And you stated something very strange. Google Hangouts. You know, I noticed you said something about child molesting. 
They called up and said I was a child molester. Who did? Who called up and said that about you? Or did the workers suspect something? Did they find something? Huh? You're the one that said it, Von. I don't recall anybody ever saying you were a child molester. I do remember an email, something about uh, Kelly 41014, but that really didn't, it didn't prove that you were actually a fucking pedophile. I mean, it proves that you would stoop to the level. I mean, there was text in there. It was fucking real. It wasn't no edited shit. Yeah, I think you're uh, hiding something there, Vaughn. I mean, you're awfully defensive. I mean, you're threatening to hit women. You're blocking the Midnight Rider because you're a fucking pussy. You are a flat-out pussy, Vaughn. You're a coward, and you're weak. And you know what, Sherry226 was absolutely right. If you go to any hospital from here to fucking California, buddy, the oxygen comes out of the wall. <laughs> Yeah. And she's absolutely right, Vaughn. In order for someone's oxygen to be cut off, as if they're on life support, brother, I looked into it. Not to mention I have a family member that is an actual MD, and I asked him about it. You have to be on some sort of life support that requires a machine to breathe for you. So you can pedal your bullshit all you want, Vaughn. I know for a fact now that you're full of shit. I also know that uh, you got some sick fucking people to hang out with you, buddy. This fucking Nick Bravo, whatever the fuck his name is. You're a sick motherfucker. You know that, Nick? You are a sick motherfucker. What you said about uh, Sherry's daughters, motherfucker. You deserve to have your cap twisted. You really do. You sick pedophile motherfucker you disgusting piece of shit and you want to make peace with somebody right after doing that shit you sick motherfucker serious I'm disgusted man I watched that I was just disgusted Fucking Vaughn saying he's gonna kill people, do this and that. You know what, Vaughn? You ain't gonna do shit. You think everybody owes you something. Nobody owes you shit. You got owned on your own fucking show, man. You got owned by a girl. That's fucking sad, man. Southern people are supposed to have Southern respect, dignified, Southern gentleman. You're you're not a Southern gentleman. You're a Southern piece of shit. You're an embarrassment. You are an embarrassment for men that live in the country, out in the fucking boonies to hill. You know, you're an embarrassment to people like that. You really are.
how do you look at yourself, man, in a fucking mirror? What really disturbed me the most about all that was the way you treated your wife. You had that girl brainwashed. She was sitting on you like she's a fucking lap puppet, man. That girl looked horrified. She really did. I see you're a master manipulator and a coacher. He's coacher and everything to say. But that's Von Hilton for you. Von Hilton has to have somebody he can control. You control her, don't you? You feel like the superior motherfucker to control somebody smaller than you, don't you? You talk about you're gonna beat the shit out of this person, whoop this person's ass. So yeah, I doubt you've ever been in a fight, homeboy. You ain't nothing but a coward, Von. I swear to God, dude, I can't wait. I cannot wait. One day, dude, they're gonna cut all this fucking assistance off from freeloaders like yourself. And guess what, dude? You're tired to go to work. I'm tired of paying for you, dog. I'm tired of paying for you, man. I'm gonna pay my phone bill. There's uh, money taken out for energy assistance. When I pay my utility bills, they take percentages out for people that can't afford. You see what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, man. Take a little bit out. You know what I'm saying? To help people that have problems. But it's the freeloaders like you that I got problems with. Paying taxes every year with deadbeats like yourself. Having money taken out of paychecks after paychecks after paychecks for deadbeats like you. People that don't want to take advantage of the system and make their own mark on society. You got issues, Bond. You're not a man. You're not supporting your children. Everybody else is. And how fucking humiliating is it to look at somebody on camera and say, Oh, my mother-in-law's back there taking care of my children. I don't give a fuck. No, you don't give a fuck, do you? You blame everybody for your children's pain and misery. But you scream the top of your lungs. Look at Brett Keen's video. Look at your own wife holding her fucking ears from your big mouth. It's a fucking wonder. It's a fucking wonder those kids ain't mentally retarded because of your screaming and your constant mouth. I have grave concerns for the children in that house, or excuse me, mobile home. I have grave concerns for your wife. I have grave concerns that they might be all permanently damaged. Actually, you know what? Your wife chooses to be there, but your children don't. You understand? You'll never be a man. You'll never take responsibility. You always want to blame other people for your problems. You always want to blame other people for your issues. When something happens to Von Helton, it's someone else's fault. You need to grow up and be a fucking man. I know it's kind of a hard thing to do. But then again, I'm just talking out of my ass. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact you're always going to be a piece of shit. Nothing more, nothing less. And with that, I'm just going to tell you I'm disgusted with you. Zodiac out.